Here in Australia, we get our fair share of wild weather. From roaring cyclones to torrential rains. But many parts of our country also suffer through one simple condition in particular, and that's hot, dry weather. Down at the beach, that heat might be nice, but it's bad news for our parks and ovals that die without water. These kids go to a school in South Australia. Nearby, a wetlands area has just been created and that's a good thing for their community. And we're using the water out of these wetlands to water local school ovals, the parks and gardens, and connecting up different community organisations with the water so that they're able to use as much water as they like to keep the parks and gardens clean and keep our school ovals nice and green for our kids to play on all year round. Sounds like a great idea. So how does it work? When it rains, water runs off the roofs and roads and makes its way to the stormwater drains. These drains bring the water straight to the wetlands. This is where it starts to get a bit tricky. In the wetland, this is where we use uh, all the water is cleansed. So we have deeper ponds and uh, reeds, and reeds help take out uh, all the dirty stuff out of the water. As water flows through the wetland, it continues to be improved and uh, is finally uh, clean by the time it reaches the end of the system. Once the water is clean from our wetlands, we then feed it through these purple pipes behind me and into this tank where it's now ready for injection into the aquifer. The aquifer is a layer of rock about 120 metres underground that stores all the treated water but it can't go underground with anything nasty still in it. So Frank has to make sure the water has been filtered properly. This equipment that you can see behind me measures water quality. It makes sure that the water is good enough for injection into the aquifer. Once it's ready, the water is pumped underground by a well. Well, it's through all these purple pipes underground and then it comes out through the sprinklers that water out oval and all the plants. It's gonna be used for like eight different schools. We use it for like to water the oval so it's nice and green and then to keep the plants healthy to make our school look more prettier and stuff. The water is only taken out of the aquifer during the summer because that's when there's less rain to keep the vegetation watered naturally. And we're saving precious drinking water by using the recycling water off our local roads and roofs here in Playford. The wetlands area might look small, but it's doing a big job in this community. At this site, we collect over 180 Olympic-sized swimming pools of water, which is going to be reused and recycled for the benefit of kids here in Playford. So far, most of the water is sitting underground, but summer's on the way, and that water is going to be a vital ingredient in helping the community to survive and thrive in the hot Aussie weather.